Hi folks, Patrick Barrett here, your favorite driver education guru and author and creator of the ever popular Driver Ed in a Box. Now, what is today's topic? Today's topic is hydroplaning. Well, what is hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is the word that describes the phenomena that occurs when your tires are riding on a thin film of water. What happens when it rains? Well, in the first 15 to 20 minutes, that's the slickest part of the rain. Why? Because the water is mixing with the dirt, the oil, the gas, all the debris that's on the road, and it makes it very slick at that time. As it continues to rain, then what happens is as you're driving along, as you increase your speed, your tires actually slowly begin to rise just a little bit to where there's a thin film of water between your tires and the pavement. That's hydroplaning. You can be partially hydroplaning at speeds as low as 30 miles an hour. And at 60 miles an hour, it's very possible you're not even touching the pavement. Okay, why is that important? That's important because it's going to take more time for you to stop. Why? Because you need that contact with the road, that friction to be able to come to a stop. So when it's raining and you're driving, make sure you increase the following distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead. Make sure that when you begin to slow that you have enough room so you can take your foot off the accelerator and then let it slow down a little bit so that when you start to brake, you got a little more contact. Remember that when you're driving, this is all you have. Uh, this hand, the size of your hand, that's a, what's touching the pavement. That's the tire. So you've got this, 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 and this. That's it. Your front tires and your back tires. That's all that's touching the pavement. It's not that great big tire that you see and you think, well, I got all this protection. No, that's all the contact that you have. And when you're driving on a rain-soaked surface, when it's raining, then what's happening? You're losing some of that patch. You have even less contact. That's why it's so important to always have much more space, allow yourself much more space to be able to stop when it's raining. So increase that following distance, and when you do brake, be able to brake gradually and easily. Okay, hey, this is Patrick Barrett reminding you that hydroplaning is what? Riding on a thin film of water. And when you practice your driving, do what? Practice like your life depends on it, because it does. Bye now.